Hey guys, welcome to this video. In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can get your own investment portfolio to send you an email when a stock is in your buying range and it's time to make some money. And if you guys don't know how to make an investment portfolio, you can just check out the previous video. There is a bit of coding. I probably just lost 50% of the audience right now, but don't worry, you don't need to know any coding. All you have to do is be able to copy and paste. So if you can copy and paste, this is the video for you. Let's get straight into it. So essentially we have our companies here, we have their prices and we have our target buy prices. So if based on our calculations, the company is worth this much, but its price is currently here, that's a pretty good deal. So we would wanna be buying at this point in time. However, if the price is here and we think the company's value is here, it's not gonna be a good time to buy. So when the price is less than the target buy, it's gonna be showing true. And when the price is greater than the target buy, it's gonna be showing false. What we're trying to do is we're trying to get sent an email when the price is less than target buy. So when the values in this column are true, we're gonna want that specific company to be included in the list in the email. So this is what the email is gonna look like. Time to make some money. Hello, future legendary investor, your name here. The following investments are in your buying range. Choose wisely, your future depends on it. Thank you for making me financially free. Future, your name here. So as you can see, I had a bit of fun making this email. I put some motivational stuff in there. You guys can change it however you want, but that's just how I decided to do it. All this email is doing is it's going on our portfolio spreadsheet and it's looking at which values are true and it's including those companies in the email list. So what this allows us to do is it allows us to sort of automate our investing process in a certain way because we don't have to be checking every single day if the stock price is less than our target buy price. This is gonna do it automatically for us. So we can save a lot of time. We don't have to be wasting our time every single day. Are my stocks in the right buying range? Did I miss out on potentially buying it at a good price? You don't have to worry about any of that stuff. The email will tell you when your companies are in a good buying range. And you can set up the email to be sent at whatever time intervals you want to. So how this works is we're gonna be using a script. And if you don't know, a script is basically just a bunch of code that can be run. We're trying to use the Google Sheets app and the Gmail app. We're saying to the spreadsheet app, can you find the values that are true? So can you find the companies that are in a good buying range, in other words? And we're saying to the Gmail app, can you send me an email including only the companies that are in a good buying range or that have true in this column right here. Hit that subscribe button if you don't wanna miss out on content like this that can automate and make your investing process a lot easier. So how we do this is we create a script. You click on script editor, and this is the current script that I created to be able to actually send the email. If you're opening this for the first time, it's actually gonna be blank, but don't worry, you don't have to understand exactly what this means right now. You don't even have to understand it. I'm gonna be putting the code in the description so you can just copy and paste it and it should work. But what I'm gonna try and do is go through it line by line so you guys can understand how it works and modify it if you wanted to. So we have, we have a function here, and if you don't know what a function is, a function is just a bunch of code that can be run. The first thing we're doing is we're creating a variable called sheet. And what we're doing is we're saying, hey spreadsheet app, can you please get me to the sheet named portfolio? So essentially what it's doing is it's looking at the available sheets on your spreadsheet, and it's looking for the one that says portfolio, which is this one. The other one we have is email, and in here you're gonna be putting your name and your email so that this can be updated in the email we send. So this variable sheet is just finding the portfolio sheet. Then this next variable, true or false, is it's saying, can you look on the portfolio sheet and get me the range F2 to F30? So it goes on the portfolio sheet, it goes to column F and it goes from two to 30 and it selects this range. Now we create another variable called names, which is doing the same thing. It's going on the portfolio sheet, can you get the range A2 to A30? This is getting all the company's names because we want the companies that correspond to the true or false values. So we're going from A2 all the way to A30. You guys can actually change this range to however long or however short you want it to be. If you wanna add more companies, you can increase the range. You can even decrease it to 20. Instead of looking from F2 to F30, you're now looking from F2 to F20 and A2 to A20. Now it would just be looking from F2 to F20 and doing the same A2 to A20. But I'm gonna leave it at 30 just in case you guys wanna add more companies to your watch list. We don't have the values yet, so we have to create two more variables. So we have a new variable, true or false values. It's just taking the range of true or false and it's getting the values. So this is actually getting the values in here. And then we just do the same for the name range. We're actually getting the names of the companies and actually getting their values. Next, this is just a variable for the message of the email. Uh, right now, it's just a blank email. Then we have another variable called the goodbye list. This is gonna be a list of the companies that have true in the prices less than the target buy column because these are gonna be the companies that are in a good target buying range. Next, we're gonna be getting your name and your email address. So this is saying, hey, Spreadsheet app, can you go to the sheet email, get the range A2 and then get its value. And then this is saying, can you go to the email sheet 
and get the range B2 and take its value. So all it's doing is we're going on email, we're getting the name and the email that you guys can set in your portfolio. Next, what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be looping through all the true or false values to identify the ones that are just true. This for loop, if you guys don't know what a for loop is, it doesn't matter, just think of it this way. You're just looping through all the values of the true or false variable and we're identifying the ones that are true. So if it's true, we're gonna be adding them to the goodbye list and we're gonna be ignoring the ones that are false. Right now, we'll just be including the ones that say true. And once we've identified the ones that are true and put them into a list, we can now send the email. So here I'm just creating the message, just trying to make it as nice as possible. The message part is just essentially formatting and creating the message so it's like this. So we have hello future legendary investor, your name. This slash n is just creating a new line, so it's just for the formatting of the message. The following investments are in your buying range. And then next we have another loop where we're going through the goodbye list and we're typing them out on the email message. What this line of code is doing is it's just putting all the companies that are in the goodbye list on a different line. Next, we're putting a little motivational message here. Choose wisely, your future depends on it. Thank you for making me financially free. Future, your name. You guys can change this message however you want. It's completely up to you. The subject of the email is time to make some money. Because you're going to be wanting to buy your companies when they're in your target buying range. This last line of code is telling the Gmail app to send an email to the email address with the subject and with the specific message. So this last line of code is going to be sending this email to the email you have in the spreadsheet. And so as you can see, if I run this code right now and I check my email, I have a new email with the companies that are in the target buying range. And as you can see, these are all the companies that had true in this column. But obviously we don't want this email to only be sent when we click the button, otherwise there'd be no point and there'd be no automation. So what you can actually do is you can set a trigger so that it's sent at a specific time or when something happens. So what you do is you can click on this little clock icon and so we can add a new trigger. So this here, you're choosing which function to run. And so we're choosing the send mail portfolio function, which is just this line of code that I just explained to you guys. We're choosing which deployment should run. Head just basically means that it's choosing the most active version of your spreadsheet. Then you can select the event source. So you can either select it from the spreadsheet if something changes, or you can set it to a time-driven thing. In my opinion, time-driven is the best. You can set it minutes, hourly, daily, or weekly. I currently have mine set to weekly. So next, you can select the day of the week. Maybe you can set it on the weekend when you do your investing practice and you do your research for your companies. And you can choose the time from 8 a.m. to 9 a.m. or whatever time suits you. You click save. And now every Saturday from 8 a.m. to 9 a.m., your portfolio will send you an email of the companies that are in your target buying range. So hopefully you guys have enjoyed and you found this video useful. Remember, I'm leaving the code in the description so you guys can just copy paste that and change it however you like. I really hope this helps you guys automate your investing process so you don't have to be worried about what are the stocks doing every single day. You can just be notified when they are in your target buying range and get sent a weekly reminder with your email. If you guys do want to know how to calculate the target buy prices, doing maybe some valuation calculations, calculate the true value of the company, I can definitely make a video on that. So if you guys will be using this, please let me know in the comment section. Hit that subscribe button if you don't want to miss out on content like this that can automate and make your investing process a lot easier and I'll see you guys next time.